we're back with another video another sad video so i cannot figure out what is wrong with my personal rig i've had tons and tons of computers over the years i've never seen the problem that i'm having um, it's essentially just random stuttering um, it'll go like for an example you could be on the desktop just doing something normal or in like my circumstance when i'm using davinci the mouse will just go across the screen I have replaced every single part in that computer and except for the CPU. And so I'm now curious after bringing my 4090 to his house, testing it in his PC works completely fine. Um, I'm like, what else could there be? So he was like, you should just take it. And so now I have it and we're going to swap my 13700 K in here. We're going to see what's going on. So my first plan is to take the NVMe drive out of my personal rig and uh, just ignore the basement thing going on there. It's all ugly. And I'm going to put my NVMe in here and test this computer the way it is. Also, before I um, say any more, check out this video card. I will be doing a rebuild of this or putting it back to its original state. That way, um, you know, He's not like, what the hell, dude? You borrowed my rig and left it a disaster. For anyone wondering, this is a complete EVA build with the EVA ASUS motherboard, the AIO cooler, the video card, and even the power supply. I hope he's got a good 980 Pro. I've heard there's been a lot of issues with those. Also, I love this new ASUS feature. Um, it's not just ASUS, there's a bunch of companies that have it. Okay, so I have my SN850 in. So now we're gonna hook this up to my screens. Didn't wanna carry this case over there with the 4090. Thing is way too heavy. So this case is actually kind of funny. There's a two layer system going on in the back. So if you're not careful, you can install the card slightly wrong. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a second when I'm done here. So it might be kind of hard to see, but there's actually two layers of metal. And when it looks like it's going in correctly, it's actually going in wrong because these are supposed to poke on the outside and the card is not, but it feels backwards. Let's plug this cable mod in. Gotta be very careful. Uh, the only reason why I'm using this for my system is that he has a Thor 850 and I have the Thor 1200. They are both the same. Off to a good start. Now that's the screen I have plugged in right here. Give me a post. Oh, nope, it's that one. It's funny how I thought my case was actually massive, but damn. Also, this is the one thing that drives me nuts about Dominator memory. I always see this. There's always one stick out, like in every build. This might sound stupid, but here's the test. When you open this application, the office, uh, whatever, studio thing, once you start moving, them, see how it's hanging up? And look at the mouse. Now it's hanging up all over the place. So, I think we get a bad NVMe drive. This was just tested at his house with his screen and there was zero problems. So we're gonna throw this 980 Pro back in and use his installation to see if it does the same thing. All right guys, so it looks like I have a failing Western Digital uh, SN850 and the weirdest part about this whole thing is I've checked this before and it says good and shows no issues. The second you hit it with a load, it starts to become unstable and it can take a very long time. Um, that's why just doing things with the mouse is erratic because it's failing, but for some reason, I don't know if it's the chip on the actual um, SSD that's like not talking to the computer 
I've never seen this before. This is the first time uh, ever. So if any of you guys are having this weird stuttering issue, and no matter what you do and replace, I've seen people replacing power supplies, graphics cards. I did my own motherboard. I'm on a second GPU. This is taking a lot of time to figure out. And like, it's stupid because normally I have all these parts here and stuff. I could have just swapped it out and figured it out pretty quickly. And what else, the other thing that's amazing is that I'm literally recording on the computer. I'll probably edit this video on the computer too before I go and install the new drive. But it's just, it's insane how bad, like let's open this up again. Just watch how bad it gets. There we go. Literally all over the place, the mouse can't even keep track. And then it fixes itself. But there is something really wrong and this is gonna get very hot soon. It'll probably get to about 80 C and the good thing here will change to bad eventually. I've actually re-recorded this little section a couple of times trying to get it to do it, but it has not done it. So I can't promise that it will work or go bad on screen. Ooh, wow. <laughs> That's some good timing right there. Actually, let's let it go a little further. 83 C, that jumped up really fast so i don't know hopefully you can't blame me for this stupid mistake of replacing all these other parts i i literally never thought to uh to do this um to really leave it testing and running because i just haven't had any bad uh nvme drives pretty much ever i don't know it just doesn't happen that often to me um yeah tell me down in the comments if you guys have bad uh, have had bad experiences I know that the 980 Pro, <laughs> the thing that I'm buying to replace it, um, had the 2021 and 2022 issues where like the firmware needed to be updated because it turned into like a read only drive. They have sudden, like they, they fixed that. So I'm not too worried about that. But um, yeah, leave a comment if you've had this problem before, because this to me is new and I'm not even trying to flex or anything. I've built like close to 500 computers and I've never seen anything like this. So I've been ripping my hair out. Anyways, I'm not gonna leave you looking at this screen. Let's jump to putting the EVA PC back together and do a little B-roll.